Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I'm here at the witch farm and my fishing area and I put a roof over it so that I could be over here fishing at night without having to worry about those pesky phantoms. Because if you stand here, if you don't have sky access, they can't spawn. Uh, so here they can spawn. Here they or they they can't and here they can. So uh, it's a little bit annoying, but hey, well, there we go. Um, I've been doing some fishing been catching puffer fish so we can make water breathing potions and i like the uh the clown fish which are now called tropical fish and of course there's a whole mess of thousands and thousands of different varieties of these as mobs swimming around but uh when you catch them they look like this and saddles and name tags and all that stuff and i'm just miscellaneous other things I've, I've gotten rid of some stuff but i have a couple books with loyalty on them which is useful because that's one of the four new enchants for for uh, the game. I got me a trident. Uh, I just happened to kill a drowned, and he dropped a trident. He was carrying it, and he dropped it. I have a few other things. I've got some fan membranes. I've been killing some of the phantoms. We have the uh, the more mob heads mob heads data pack installed that they use on <clears throat> on. Uh, uh, Hermitcraft, so we got that installed, and I ended up getting a phantom head. And I've also caught Nautilus shells. And I found three hearts of the sea out in treasure chests, and I've got some turtles. So this is like the good stuff from my finds out running around, and I want to take advantage of them. But the, oh, the loyalty book, um, I have to figure out whether... I definitely want to have loyalty on this trident. I also want to put unbreaking and mending on it. And then the question is, do I put, then there's three other choices. There's impaling, which is adds to the damage. It's essentially the sharpness, the version of sharpness, sorry, the trident version of sharpness. Um, and then riptide is sort of pulls you through the thing so you can use it to fly, like fly and whatnot. And then uh, channeling, which is, probably going to be kind of a specialty sort of trident so i probably want to get an impaling enchant um i don't have an enchanting table set up here at the witch farm um i did set up something over my little house over here though um which i kind of mentioned i assuming it made it into the episode um i i mentioned while i was running around exploring the aquatic features you can now place beds on things that you never could before. So I have a bed inside my little house here. Ta-da! Could never do this before. It's very exciting. Um, and I put I put this up here because I knew that the phantoms wouldn't be able to spawn up standing underneath this, but they can through the glass. So I'm standing here, they can spawn, but they can't really come in, they can't spawn inside, I don't think but they spawn outside and then I can step up here and they can't fly through this doorway. So I can come up here and sort of whack at them up here. And that's how I got those phantom membranes, which can be used to make the sort of potion of slow falling, which is pretty cool. And I'm thinking that might be very useful for flying. If you know you're gonna be flying a long distance, you make some slow falling potions, you get up in the air and you drink a, drink one of those and then you just don't have to use the rockets. Anyway, so that's uh, what's going on here. I still need to build my potion brewing setup, but now I have, I know what the potions are going to be. Just don't walk off the edge. Um, so yeah, there we go. Hello, Mr. Pigman. Oh my goodness, that took a long time. All right, so I went through the Never and came out by the Guardian Farm. I have not been out here since uh, since updating the server. So this is going to be interesting to see what it's like with all the Guardians. I expect quite a bit of lag. First time out because it's got to convert all these. And I do believe that the farm should still work. I believe. I see guardians falling. Very nice. Oh, doing quite nicely. I'm the only one on the server, so the farm always works pretty darn well when that is the case. 
I I have I should have plenty of prismarine blocks at home, but I want some more for a little experiment. So Minecon Earth happened. Um, I am recording this on the Saturday, the twenty blah 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 whatever, the day that Minecon Earth was was streamed live. Um, I am because of all the stuff there's to do in this version of the game, I am uh, I'm several episodes ahead on recording, so you're probably not going to see this for a couple weeks. But it was pretty cool. They announced some of the new features of 1.14, which pandas, come on, pandas, and also foxes. The foxes are very cute, but the pandas are super awesome. And it's great that they're adding them to the game, and they're adding them because all the people in China that play Minecraft are like, Pandas are our national treasure, and they are the cutest darn thing in the world. So uh, that's going to be awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, they showed some other stuff. Hello, doggy. Um, they're going to add different types of cats and stuff. So there's there's a lot of things that they talked about. They're pretty cool. Um, I have to go back home the long way around. Normally, I would just hop in through the stronghold out by the Guardian Farm and go through the end and back home that way. But when I was out exploring out 20,000 blocks away from here, um, I, I broke the last bed I slept in. I broke, um, I think. So I didn't want to end up either way back out that far away or uh, back at Spawn Island. So that's why we're walking back. So mine kind of earth. Um, that was that was kind of cool, and I think they they did a good job of presenting it in an interesting format. Uh, last year, the first Minecon Earth was a little bit, uh, I don't know, was a little bit awkward. I think they were just they were still figuring out the whole the whole format since they hadn't they had decided not to do the in person mine Minecon anymore. So, um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Ah, ah. Um, oh, this guy's grown up. Hello. <sighs> and you're a cartographer. Okay. Very good. So, um, yeah, Minecon happened. That was interesting. Um, uh, looking forward to some of those features. It's clear some of them are going to start popping up probably in snapshots later this year. Uh, but it'll be sometime next year in the spring when it's actually... Uh, gets released so and I feel like I'm just because it took so long to for me to feel comfortable updating the server um, it uh, I feel like I'm just started playing Minecraft 1.13 so it seems all very sudden for them to be talking about 1.14 again already but you know it's the way it works all right let me get upstairs I need to replace this ladder with a bubble column or put in a bubble column somewhere so that I can do this more quickly and take advantage of the new water mechanics because they're super cool and there's no reason not to. So my spawn point is now set back inside my base, which is good. And when we come over here, you're gonna see something a little different. What's that big flat area? So there used to be an island right here and I uh, made some changes to it. It was in a beach biome ouch and uh, I flattened it out and spread it out so this is all beach this is all beach biome which turns out it may not be necessary for what I what I want built a little covering here so that I can have a place to sleep and a place to get away from the or stand so the phantoms don't show up spawn islands right there so we can see my base right up there and spawn island so we're kind of halfway in between here Spawn Island always felt so much more distant, but, you know, that's fine. All right, so, a couple things here. Need to put down an ender chest. And we are going to... Where do I, where do I want to put these? Let's put this here. So, we have... Put this here. And I have a crafting table already built. So... One thing of interest is these turtle eggs. Now, the turtle eggs have to be placed on sand. 
So I should be able to do this. And I guess I can put them together, but put them like that. I don't know if there's any advantage to spreading them out. So this is hatch of zero, hatch of zero. Targeted, fl oh no, fluid, okay. Cool, so we are going to start breeding turtles. And so I need a few things. And there's room here for tons of turtles. And I need some uh, seagrass, which can come from there. Uh, so I need a few things. But the other thing is, as I said, we've got a few of these hearts of the sea. And I have just enough Nautilus shells to make. Will this give me an advancement? A conduit. No advancement. Interesting. Is there an advancement surrounded the conduit? It should be. I've not thrown the trident yet. I'm afraid of breaking it. So, but we we have it here. Throw the trident. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to break it because uh, it's it's pretty badly damaged, and I haven't enchanted it up. So, so there we go. Okay, so I have this conduit. Now the conduit, I can go underwater and give myself like conduit powers, right? I think that's how that works. So let's uh, let's find a spot to do that. And if I, and I have, I should have enough blocks here. And you can build it out with prismarine blocks, right? I can probably, I should be able to build it out here. Make sure there's no drowned around. Why did it suddenly get brighter? Okay, I should switch to the shovel and do this more quickly. Okay, there we go. So I think this goes here and I have to make like a little ring, right? Is that right? So the conduit goes on there. Create some light, that's nice. And if you double it out both directions, it works better. Like building more layers on a uh, <clears throat> on a but is that right? Does it go right there? I don't know that it does. It seems to me it's more of a 3D shape. In the early days of Pocket Edition, whoa, um, instead of having the nether, there was whoa, who hit me? Who hit me? Somebody hit me. Oh, I was drowning. That's right. In the early days of Pocket Edition, instead of having a uh, having the Nether, they had this structure that you built that you had to build out of the right type of blocks, and you had to craft a thing to go on the inside of it. It was very annoying. I'm doing this from memory, so hopefully I get this right. Um, but the, uh, and then when you built it, it just literally all hell broke loose. You ended up, hello, dude, need some air here. Okay. Obviously, I didn't get the structure entirely correct. Let's see if I remove this block. Does it turn on? Yes, it did. Awesome. Look at that. I now have... This is called conduit power. And it gives me water breathing. <laughs> so I can stay down here. So this may not be where I want to put this. But this should go for like 50 blocks. So I should be able to spend time working underwater here. Uh, I started expanding out the island quite a ways, but I don't necessarily need it. But the other nice thing about this is um, any beasties that come up, any bad guys like drown, the conduit will actually attack them, which is kind of cool. So this could actually help with, uh, I don't know, trying to get more tridents maybe? Not sure. Very cool. All right, so let's... I doubt our turtle eggs have Im Im advanced much. And I don't know if they're going to...
hatch zero, hatch zero. Okay, and they may only advance at night, <laughs> which is part of why I wanted to. So the conduit power, I don't get it when I'm out of the water, I guess. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I get it when I'm standing in water. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so because of the nighttime thing, I kind of suspect that it might be the case. I um, that's why I built my little stand here, so I can I can stand here and I don't have to sleep, and the turtles can go through there and do their thing. Cool. So so it seems to me that the heart of the sea is now. Actually, you know what, since I have the here, and you need these prismarine blocks to power it, let's go ahead and put these in here. Um, oh look, I got a drowned head. Very exciting. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's let some time pass here and see how this goes. Oh, look at that. The dolphins have come to play with the stuff. I don't have any cod to give you. Oh. Oh, here comes another drown. Hi, dude. Oh, they make creepy sounds. Let's see if the con. Yeah, see, the conduit's gonna help hurt them. can still get me though. Oh. <laughs> Dude, hello. So, oh, Dolphin's Grace. Um, See, so you have to be swimming to get it. You have to be in swimming mode. But look how fast you go. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. It doesn't last very long, but you don't really need it to. Okay. My dolphin friend. There you are. I like how they like they, they play with stuff when they're floating in the water. And there's plenty of stuff floating around here for you to play with. Very cool. So yeah, the the uh, the conduit here gives you you can breathe underwater and it gives you night vision so you can see better, which is kinda cool. So this is uh, essentially a beacon for the for the underwater. So if you're doing underwater building, this is kind of what you need. It's getting dark. It's getting nighttime. So let's see. Oh, the the phantoms. I I, I just slept, so we're not going to get any phantom action tonight. But the phantoms don't like the water, so they're kind of like Endermen in that regard. So nighttime when the phantoms are out, I could just go in here and then they won't bother me. So let's see what's going on with the eggs. Now, turtles seem to do everything slowly. That's completely understandable. So, this might be a uh, the sort of thing that it's not going to happen tonight. This might be a multi-day thing. So, uh, I think I have this set up so that this area here is safe for AFK. But, you know, I don't know. I suppose a drown could come in here. Actually, they can't. Get, they don't like getting out of the water. So, hey, Mr. Dolphin, that's so cool. Another dolphin. I'm glad that the that the the fish and stuff spawn in the area. Uh, it would be nice if he <laughs> play with the zombie flesh. Uh, it would be nice if uh, they had could come up with a way of making it so that kelp and stuff could start spawning around, but only on blocks that generated naturally. Like so, if the player placed a block, they're not going to, they're not going to, you know, the, no kelp is going to grow on it. Who knows? I think they will hatch. They may just take a while. So while we're waiting, 
I should have brought this up at the beginning of the episode. Um, it is, as I'm recording this, it is the end of September. And so the the MS, the, the Walk MS fundraiser year is basically over. There's still another day on it, I think. And I had a little end of the year push. Uh, I was I was in the top 100 fundraisers, which is super exciting. I'm super happy that I was able to raise uh, money for the MS Walk, uh, National MS Society. Uh, but the but the little last minute push was helpful, and I managed to get. I thought I was going to get up into the top 50. That was kind of my goal, but I am at. Oh, 42, I think. I got into the to the upper 40s. And uh, I've raised just over $3,000 for the National MS Society, which makes me so happy. And thank you for everyone for listening to me. I like how he's playing with that. Uh, for listening to me talking about it. It's been uh, something I've been working on all year. And... Uh, and if and if you donated, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, very happy. I sort of my secret goal for for the year was to raise three thousand dollars. I didn't think I would get there, but I figured by giving myself that kind of a goal, it would be it would sort of help help maybe make it happen or visualize it. Um, the previous year, I'd raised something like sixteen hundred dollars. And I was thinking if I got above 2000 I would be happy. And that's where I was for a good chunk of it, which was fantastic. But the fact that I broke 3000 makes me very happy. And then I'm in the top, the top 40 or top 50 uh, in sort of individual fundraiser. <laughs> um, the dolphins are so cute. Individual fundraiser for the MS walk is... Uh, is just great so anyway so these dolphin eggs are gonna probably take their own sweet time that's fine so I will sit here and watch them and we hopefully next time you see me we have turtles and then my goal is this conduit makes breathing noises Got a little heartbeat and it breathes. That's kind of creepy. Uh, I guess the breathing makes sense, but it also makes it kind of sounds like, oh, there's a mob coming in there. There's like a drowned mob or something, uh, which would not make sense for them to be breathing, but they growl, which you wouldn't necessarily be able to do underwater. So who knows? Um, so anyway, I think that's it. So we've got, I have a trident, which we have to check out. Um, we've got at all this gravel uh trying to trick out and need to develop some more villagers at the uh, the village farm because i want to end up with uh books trades for all of the different uh, uh all the different new enchants uh, i definitely want a channeling trident and i'm going to want more than one trident so i'm thinking um, we will need to have, uh, have a little drown farm somewhere. Uh, one other thing that turtle eggs, you, they, they have to be placed on sand, but apparently when placed on red sand, they will not hatch, which is an interesting, interesting quirk. And I don't know if that's a bug or not, if that's intentional. Um, but if they don't hatch, I know they attract zombies. So I'm wondering if they could be used uh, as a kind of a lure, a zombie lure. So that'll be something to play around with. But anyway, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.